I got a new Pokemon shirt and I really wanted to wear it, but it's really warm outside and like black absorbs the uh the so we're not doing that. We're going with Fallout Boy. So I just went downstairs to make a cup of coffee. I picked up the kettle, I walked over to the sink, and then I realised there's no sink. Where's the sink? I kind of need the sink. That is one of the problems with moving house. Things just tend to disappear sometimes. But it's okay. We still have a bathroom sink, thank God. No one took that one. So I just used that and made myself a nice little cup of coffee instead. Delicious from a stolen Starbucks mug, but you had to know that. Question mark three. I nearly did two. It's three. What do you plan on doing in your gap year? To be honest, I kind of want to get a real job and like actually make some income and then be able to do things that I've wanted to do for ages in like a year off education because I haven't had one of those since I was like four. Three, I don't know. I can't even remember when education started. That says a lot. And I'm also going to make quite a lot of videos as well. Can you cry underwater? I don't know. Uh, and I'm not going to try it to find out either. I'm not going to lie in the bath and just be like, put like fucking Lana Del Rey on. That's not going to happen. Would you rather be a Pokemon trainer or a wizard at Hogwarts? To be honest, I think Harry Potter's a little bit overrated. I never really got the hype of it, sorry. I never read the books, that might be why. I only ever watched the films and I only watched those about three years ago. It was never really like a big part of my childhood. However, Pokemon was, so... I mean, oh, like, can you tell? Can you tell that Pokemon was a big part of my childhood? And it still is. I have no time for people who said they grew out of Pokemon. Fuck you, you are weak. How do you cope with exams? You start vlogging when you should be revising. Who are your favourite YouTubers? Like, when I was growing up and stuff, like, I used to always watch Charlie McDonald's videos and I also watched Alex Day's, but, you know, we don't talk about Alex Day anymore. My current favourite is probably Jack Howard, and he knows this himself because I've mentioned it multiple times to him. So, uh, thank you for being rad, Jack Howard. He followed me on Twitter and I screamed. What's your biggest yiffy secret? Why don't you just date me? That would be Trey Cool, just for that pun, you know. Would you rather change sex every time you sneeze or pee lava? See, like, I don't get questions like this, because what, what's, what's wrong with actually... I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to pee lava to sacrifice the fact to have a clitoris. Think of all the things you could do with a clitoris. My mum's gonna watch this. Did you hear about the girl that sent death threats to American Airlines and got arrested for trolling? Yes, I did. She's a fucking idiot. I have no sympathy for her. If you tweet an American, the American Airlines and say, yo, there's a thing that's gonna happen on this day. You have no place to complain when you get arrested for it, you fucking idiot. Given that most people who are murdered are killed by friends, family, or someone they know, who in your life do you think will be most likely to commit the crime? Try to aggravate this situation by calling and telling them you've nominated them as your potential murder. So for like question mark three, someone asked me um, who out of my friends and family would be the most likely to kill someone else and um, they, oh, I chose you. How do you feel about that? Have you ever used an Ouija board? And if not, would you ever? I have two stories about Ouija boards. Number one is the one where my mum was in a caravan. She was with a friend. She decided to use an Ouija board and the light bulb above her smashed. Yeah, and the second story is that a girl used one in front of me in year six and then a black fucking crow would not stop following her around the playground. And that was just terrifying. So based on those experiences, even though I'm not really much of a believer in... Believer! Fuck me! Believer! For <laughs> believer in the supernatural, I still wouldn't use one because that's just enough to scam me for life. Arms for legs or legs for arms? What? What's a male ladybug called? I'm pretty sure it's just called a ladybug, and if it's not, then Wikipedia will solve your problems. It just you know, so will counselling. <laughs> will you draw my horse? Yeah, sure. If flies didn't have wings, what do they call walks? See, like, this begs the question of where the word fly comes from. Does it come from, like, flies, or does it come from the act of flying? So, but they probably wouldn't be called walks, because we don't call every single insect that doesn't fly a fucking walk. If you had to be stranded on an island for a week with one actor, one YouTuber, and one animated show character, who would they be? Actor Ryan Gosling. YouTuber Ryan Gosling, because I'm pretty sure he's been in a YouTube video before. And animated show character Ryan Gosling, because I'm pretty sure he's been animated before. If you're in a zombie apocalypse, where would be your base camp? Well, I'd take the car, go to Mum's, kill Phil, grab Liz, go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all this to blow over. If you like this video, please go down there and click like, and follow me on Twitter and Tumblr and Facebook, because YouTube subscription feeds don't always work. But also subscribe as well, because I have a dream of one day owning one of those silver play buttons that you get for having 100,000 subscribers, and it's a long, long way away, but what I can dream, it's a dream. Just, just imagine. Just, just, just imagine it. Bye.